Hello, welcome to another Linux Terminal Commands for Beginners tutorial. For this video I will be talking about searching for strings in a file with the grep command. Let's open up the terminal. Grep command is used to search the lines of a file for a particular string, i.e. this is the command to use when looking for a certain word or phrase in a file. We'll begin with a simple example. ls Let's search for a string in greptest.txt. grep a b c. I already know a b c is going to be in grep test, but this is just for the example. greptest.txt. Note I enclosed a b c in single quotes to preserve its literal meaning. I talked about this in another video, but basically, in case the string I'm searching for has special characters or spaces. I can use them as long as the string is enclosed in single quotes, otherwise I would get an error. And here we have our first occurrence of ABC highlighted in red. Alright, let's do another example. This time on a larger file where it's possible to get more than one occurrence of a string. Let's search for the string justo in lorem.txt. grep justo lorem.txt here we get multiple results highlighted in red along with the lines they are found in. We can also search for a phrase with grep. Grep, this is a phrase. And let's search in lorem.txt. Here we get the single occurrence of this is a phrase in lorem.txt highlighted in red. Grep is not only limited to searching a single file, we can search multiple files for a string. Let's try it, but before we do, let's clear the workspace. Clear ls. I'm going to search for the string ghi on greptest.txt and greptest1.txt. grep the string ghi greptest.txt greptest1.txt and we get the results highlighted in red for each file. The format for looking through multiple files looks like grep, the string you're looking for, and the files you want to search in. File 1, file 2, file 3, and it goes on as many files as you want. Now let's move on to some grep options. One handy option is the dash i ignore case distinction option. This basically makes your string search no longer case sensitive. Let's look for the string abc again in grep test.txt. This time with the dash i ignore case distinction option. grep dash i abc grep test.txt. This time we get two results highlighted in red instead of one. This is because dash i option ignores cases. This is useful in case you are searching for a string like a specific username and you aren't sure if they spell their name with capitals or not. Just like how the second instance of abc was found with a b capitalized. Another useful option for grep is the dash w match full words option. What this option does is match only the full string that you type. In order to show this better, I'll do a string search without the dash w option before doing one with the dash w option enabled. I'll do a search of the string sun in grep test.txt. grep sun grep test2.txt. Here we get multiple results with sun string at the end of it. Now when we do the string search again with the dash w match full words option, grep dash w for match words sun grep test 2 dot txt we only get the sun string as a result we can also use grep recursively in a directory or in other words go through each file in a directory for occurrences of a specific string how this is achieved is with the dash r recursive option I'll do a simple example of this and search all the files on my home directory for occurrences of line 15 string. grep dash r for recursive line 15 home slash koshi where 
home slash Koshi is an absolute reference of the directory I want to search for files that have the line 15 string. It's loading. Here grep finds line 15 string highlighted in red in the file head test.txt and bash history files. Be careful when using this option as you can get a massive amount of results that fill up your terminal depending on what string you're searching for. The last thing I want to show is a multiple string search with egrep command and pipe symbols. The command would look like egrep string1 pipe symbol string2 file where string1 and string2 are individual strings to be searched for in file. Now let's show an example of this and search for two different strings in multigrep.txt. egrep1 pipe symbol 5 multigrep.txt where we are looking for the strings 1 and 5 in multigrep.txt. Here we have the results of our search highlighted in red. We found instances of both the strings we searched for in multigrep.txt. Grep is a powerful search tool that all Linux beginners should know how to use. To summarize, we used the grep command to search for strings inside files, explored some of grep's options such as dash i ignore case distinctions, dash w for match full words, and used egrep command to search for multiple strings in a single file. This concludes my Linux terminal for beginners tutorial searching for strings in a file with grep command. For more information on the grep command, check out its manual page at man grep. Here are some more Linux for Beginners videos. Also please like or subscribe, but only if you want to. And lastly, thanks for watching.